Hello and uh, welcome. Uh, now I'm just gonna quickly take you through how to uh, register for our dashboard. The dashboard is a solution we use to track the edits you're doing and to see um, the outcome of the course, mainly for us. It's a way for us to get some statistics, but it's also funny for you to see the impact that the whole group is doing together in Wikipedia. So. Here I am in the um, course page for this course. Uh, I am sure you have seen it before because that's how you found this video. Uh, and if you scroll down here, uh, we have a thing called before class. Uh, the first thing you do is to register an account on your language version of Wikipedia. I'm not going to show you how to register an account. I'm pretty sure you are uh, capable of doing that yourself. Um, but what is, um, what is important is that by now you have a username and the username can be anything. It, does not, it doesn't need to reveal who you are. It's, it's, um, you can be creative, it's up to you. So you have your username on your language Wikipedia. Then you click on this purple link or this link, which is purple because I've just been there many times. Um, what you, before you click the link, I recommend to mark this code and copy it because this code uh, is needed for you when you are going to register. So here we have the Wikimedia, Wikimedia dashboard for this course. And uh, you see the facilitators, that's us that works in Wikimedia Norway. You have the institution, you have the name of the wikis that we are actually tracking. Um, and uh, the activity which starts uh, uh, or the activity tracking starts uh, on the 24th of September, while our event is the 2nd of October. That is when we will actually meet in this digital space together. So the only thing I want you to do right now is to click join program, is to paste the code and click OK. And ta-da, here I am, the first editor on this course. Um, and now you can see, well, there is many options of things, activities we can do, but the more important thing now is that every article I will edit in any of those um, language versions will be registered here and you can find it from this place. Okay, I suppose this is not too difficult for you, but if you have any uh, questions, just give us an email or a message and we will help you. Thank you.